What's good, downtown Las Vegas? It is my pleasure to interview, fresh from the Counter-Strike Inventational, the professional eSports team, Los Angeles Renegades! Wow, I see we rolling deep. How you gentlemen doing? Yeah, good. We're good? We're good. Yeah, so you guys are professional eSport players. What is eSports for those people that are ignorant? <laughs> wow, that's a loaded question. I always ask that. Uh, eSports is uh, a subculture of the video game industry, with, which is organized competitive gaming. So, the, Competitive video games? Yeah. All right, and you it's guys... It's a real deal. The, uh, the real deal? Yeah, I'm the, the real deal. Yeah, <laughs> so, so if you're the real deal, they, we're the real deal. Okay, so you guys play Counter-Strike. What is, what is Counter-Strike for those that might not have ever played or even heard of it? Uh, Counter-Strike is uh, it's a first-person shooter. Uh, we play a format that is 5v5, and uh, basically we shoot the bad guys. Oh. Uh, that's, that's the simple breakdown of it. But basically it's a game that's very, it's heavily uh, a tactic game. Uh, we need to use uh, reflexes. Uh, it's, uh, it's a pretty intense game. So you're telling me it's a tactical game, it takes skill, and you guys are a team. You guys play this game together, yes. right? Exactly. Okay, impressive. And you guys get paid? To play yeah, this? yeah. It's very recent for us. Uh, we're we're new uh, professional gamers. Professional. We've been doing this for uh, a very long time. Most of us have been playing for over ten years, and it's just been a hobby. Uh, I don't know if you can tell by our accents, but we are actually uh, Australian, uh, so we've come a long way. Um, but yeah. You know, I've noticed you guys have accents, except for my friend right here, but. You guys are an American team. How did... You see only your friend because he's American too? <laughs> <laughs> you all are my friends. I'm just pointing out the fact that you guys are Australian, but you're an American team. How, how did that happen? We played really good. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt you guys uh, are getting paid. Um, yeah, we played for a team called Vox Eminor before Renegades, and we traveled overseas as we did for many tournaments, and Renegades, Renegades noticed us and wanted to put us, put us on contracts and see what we could do when we played full-time. So we all, did, we all had real jobs before that. Congratulations. So I'm wondering, I love Vegas, downtown Las Vegas, but how did you guys get here? Why are you guys are in Vegas? Yeah, why are you in Vegas? Okay, so because we're a professional team, we need to boot camp and practice. So downtown Las Vegas Hotel is putting us up. Um, so we're practicing there every day. And um, from there, we'll fly out. That would be our hub, and we'll fly out to tournaments. We've got two coming up in uh, Los Angeles in November, and then another one in San Jose in December. So um, basically, we're just going to be flying around, playing, playing video games, and staying in Las Vegas. Oh, but I also heard that you guys have a, you guys have a reality TV show. Is that right? <laughs> well. Sort of. <laughs> sort of. Yeah, so our team is actually being uh, taken in by uh, the Turner League, which will be premiering on TBS. On TBS, okay. Yeah, very, very soon. So uh, you'll get to watch these, my Aussie boys here, uh, play video games. Yeah, well, they'll be able to shoot people for a living. <laughs> I, I just want to point that out. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So that's great, you guys are gonna be on TBS, you got the cameras following around, a lot of excitement, but what does it actually take, besides the passion, you can say you've been playing for 10 years, what does it take to be a pro gamer, and what do you guys do daily? Um, so I suppose it's like any other sport, you've gotta put in a lot of time, effort, commitment. Um, as Chad was saying, we've, this game was a hobby for all of us at the start, so we've been playing for like, over a decade, well over a decade, like close to 15 years for me. So, um, yeah, uh, wake up each day, play the game for a few hours, play again at night with the team, practice, 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 and yeah, that's about it really, <laughs> just like any other sport. Practice, huh? Yep. But see, we love video games, right? It's a passion, but when you have to practice and play so much and play competitively, is it still fun? Oh yeah, it's the best feeling ever, like going to competitions, playing in front of massive thousands of people, huge crowds and 
doing well, winning, having uh, huge fans and supporters. It's I mean, that just... was the trick question. Of course it's fun to, <laughs> pay, to play video games, right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. So I really understand you guys got TBS following you. You guys are going to be in the tournament. You guys are famous internationally, not just in America or Australia. You guys, are, you guys got millions of people checking you out, watching you guys live stream playing <laughs> on Twitter. You guys got uh, you guys got a lot of women interested in you, a lot of groupies. Uh, you got one done that way. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's right, that's right. So I, I have a girlfriend, so I can't actually comment. But he, he's the the man with the beard is probably the one to talk about the ladies <laughs> in the the industry. We have lots of good fans. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gentlemen, doesn't reveal. A lot, a lot of them like Counter Strike. Yeah. yeah, a lot of women like Counter-Strike. All right. You guys are pros at Deathmatch, right? Playing Team Deathmatch, Counter-Strike. Yeah, pretty much any first-person shooter will beat anyone. Oh, snap. This guy. Call any first-person shooter, easy. huh? Well, how about we play a game of Deathmatch? Yeah. Musical chairs. Deathmatch. Aaron, Aaron can play that. That's right. Musical chairs. You know what? All right. DJ Lenny Love. On three. One. Two. Three! And they're walking around the chairs. So, hey, I, so I really Good like uh, the Renegade's position here. Uh, they're setting up kind of like a standard, uh, oh. And then oh. Now, Azur and uh, how can, Gomez are out. How can Azur and Gomez get out so soon? This is oh. unprecedented. Normally these guys That's lead strange. in competition. Oh. All right, we'll take one chair out. Up, Chris. We were uh, too slow. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. All right, we're ready for the next round. On three. One, two, three. Now, look at this technique. Not only is he walking, but it seems like he's moving in a rhythm to the beat. Ha Havoc's really uh, demonstrating the, the mental fortitude of this game. Uh, he's really integrated himself into uh, the culture here in Vegas. Ah. And Justin, the youngest. This is impossible. Someone has to. Hey, let's consult the scoreboard one time before we get started. It looks. Who do we have in left in this round? Uh, so we got Havoc, uh, Sponge, and Yam. This is the final round, gentlemen. This will separate the amateurs from the professionals. Are we ready? On three. One, two, three. No, honestly, I think Havoc will win. There's something about his confidence, how much fun he's having. Yeah, it really depends on their strategy here and uh, how they're going to uh, enter that one chair. Oh! This is he's, he's eager. He almost overshot that chair. He almost overshot that chair. Oh! I, my prediction the was correct. The mechanics. what I say. Havoc. Give it up for Havoc! All right, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. Next up, we got Union Drifters.